So, good day to everybody, to all the participants of this uh, of our amazing marathon. Uh, international, actually, dedicated to the well-being of all living beings and also dedicated to the studies of Holy Scriptures. And when we're saying for the well-being, we mean that we are trying, as we are capable of, uh, to help to people, people and uh, and not only humans, uh, and to, to get uh, piety and uh, uh, start their spiritual path uh, in discover their relationship with with God. And this hour is dedicated to realizations and and questions. Uh, uh, we'll have this uh, live uh, uh, interactive uh, communication. This is um, a different different from our uh, monotonous reading. I always uh, thought it was monotonous, but after the first day of reading, uh, even the, the first marathon, that it's not a simple reading monotonous. It's like gates are opening in our uh, spiritual life and we, and we put uh, our consciousness into it because we need to wash ourselves uh, with these transcendental waters. And this communication is not different from the, from the reading. Um, reading about God and uh, it's very pleasant to God himself and to his... Uh, devotees and it's very um, uh, good for our spiritual practice so let's begin now it's Natalia Kudic writing it's difficult at, uh, at once to, re uh, to write about our realizations but at the, in the last chapter my mind was switching off he was refusing to connect emotions uh, that uh, that uh, that we were reading about uh, emotions of God, and uh, at some point it was um, uh, I was screaming, "What are they talking about?" And uh, without um, I didn't stop listening. I took the shower, and somehow uh, it uh, it came. Uh, I was calmed down. But I still have many things to uh, to go through. Uh, it's a very good realization, Natalia. It would be very uh, uh, strange if somebody uh, realizes everything at once. It's probably some sage or maybe the incarnations of incarnation of God Himself, who uh, even Sarvamabhu Matacharya uh, uh, could not realize everything, though um, uh, Lord Chaitanya himself was standing in front of him. But as he was uh, still poisoned by the my the philosophy he was uh, trying for some for some time to uh, to to ask questions he had some doubts and this is normal actually that uh, what you uh, consider here especially uh, I love this point when you said what are they talking about and this is the truth actually you need to um, get what they are talking about you uh, you calm down when you got the shower it's very good uh, thing in your practice as soon as you feel some tension, you go to the water because water um, uh, can uh, purify the mind because it carries prana itself, the, the strongest carrier of prana. Um, but you need to uh, figure out many things. Yes, you're right. Uh, we will continue reading, and you will see uh, herself yourself when we read the commentaries of Shri Prabhupada. He will answer all the questions, even the questions that we cannot uh, ask, uh, because we may uh, may be in lack of uh, piety or any uh, lack of uh, intelligence. It's like Krishna in front of uh, Arjuna. He was like uh, kind of asking uh, questions instead of Arjuna. Same as uh, same for Prabhupada. He will be uh, asking questions and answering himself those questions and that will uh, you will figure everything out now it's Larry Sepiskono writing it's very difficult to go through this marathon uh, sometimes I even switched off simply and I don't remember anything anything you are talking about it may happen yes it's like a uh, special practice uh, you you start your your path, and you are so enthusiastic. You've been uh, about it. Something you got in your life, uh, in your consciousness. It's like you have new hopes. Everything is so easy. 
waking up early, um, praying, reading, everything is so nicely. And somehow, suddenly, you get to the point, one point, like like a wall, that, and you cannot go through it, uh, this obstacle, and it's becoming so difficult. So why am I doing this practice? But this is the reality, actually. And uh, this will be the, mm, the state, uh, and not only one state, when we think uh, we get to this point, it's, it's uh, okay, it's over, it's not something that I need. We, you will get many, many any uh, doubts and uh, we won't have any uh, enthusiasm but we need to uh, make sure that at this point this is the, it was the point in previous life where we uh, stopped in our spiritual life uh, and not because we uh, just some somebody uh, stupid or bad no we just I didn't have enough time and my life uh, ended uh, time is not waiting for anybody it's like are you ready to go through no it's it's uh, time is is very cold it's impersonal it's uh, appro it approaches everybody and turns off the light of his life and the rest of uh, um, of our practice uh, we, we need to finish we will um, have to do it in this life and so uh, it, me uh, it looks like you um, going through this situation right now and it's very important to uh, to keep taking the medicines um, which is very important and I'm pretty sure that you will uh, you will uh, succeed because you're so sincere not many people can write this um, this kind of thing uh, and uh, admit their uh, their weakness actually so keep going Natalia now it's Elena right Mironova when I was watching this movie uh, God of Gods uh, Mahadev I had this feeling uh, of controver uh, controversy that because Shiva was called uh, Supreme Personality of Godhead and I was having this question, what about Vishnu? He is the full expansion of Lord Krishna. But after reading Chichatanya Charitamrita, I um, had this feeling of admiration or, and love for Lord Shiva. I even, uh, it's not possible to describe this feeling. Yes. Yes, this is what actually should be uh, going with us. Uh, this can happen. Uh, those were people of uh, followers of Lord Shiva, and they consider him, him to be a uh, personality of Godhead. There is actually no uh, con 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 contradiction because um, lo Lord Himself is taking this uh, form of uh, of Lord Shiva Gunavatar. So, from one hand, there is no con contra uh, contradiction. And it's uh, good uh, that he, st he see me, he, um, Lord Shiva as a uh, God himself. But uh, it's very good that you notice, uh, on the other hand, that uh, Lord Shiva and his real position is a servant, servant of God. So it's, uh, this is a very good thing that you are um, working through these uh, things about uh, Lord Shiva, because even um, those were very uh, worshippers of Lord Shiva, uh, and um, this is why they uh, how this is how they uh, actually see Lord Shiva. So um, who was praying? Um, there was a kind of prayer. There was one uh, person who was saying prayers. Atrimuni, ah, he was praying, yes, uh, uh, with Sanasuya. Those were um, spouse, spouses. And they were asking God to come and become their child. And they were uh, doing yagyas, uh, repenses. And at some point, there were three of them, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, in front. And was, they were so amazed. How can this be possible? So you were calling, you were calling us, and uh, here we come, you know, like a trinity. And that's why uh, uh, Data Treya uh, takes birth because it's like incarnation of three of them at the same time. So the, uh, these kind of contra contradictions may appear sometimes, but the whole inscriptions they put everything on its place, on its shelf. Anastasia, чем дальше от старта я бегу в этом марафоне? Anastasia, as uh, the far I'm running. 
The more I uh, dive into this ocean of love, now I can see clearly that I have always been looking for Krishna. I've been even uh, not not uh, uh, I didn't I didn't have a clue of that. I was looking for him in uh, people, in nature, in everything. I'm attracted by the beauty uh, around me, uh, not knowing I'm attracted by the beauty of God. And also, I'm looking for him everywhere. Krishna, where are you? My, my makeup, beautiful clothes, the whole uh, uh, look, everything is used to attract God. Uh, thinking um, uh, I want to attract other people, I actually want Krishna to pay attention to him. And only now I real, I'm realizing it. Oh, this is a very deep realization. Thank you so much, Anastasia. You know, sometimes people say, when God's, uh, when is He's going to see me? I'm doing so many things for Him. I pray to Him. Why, what's wrong with Him? Why He cannot see me? Please show yourself. I want to see you. How can I... Uh, and uh, then people, they jump uh, it over and say, how can I see you, God? I want to see you. When I see God, then I believe in Him. And uh, so so, so far and so on. But uh, Shri Prabhupada is saying, don't try to see God. Live in a way and act in a way that God sees you. Uh, this is uh, uh, the real um, devotion. And uh, this is your conclusion uh, of your realization uh, that you are doing something in order to uh, Him to uh, notice you. And it's actually, in fact, uh, the truth that we are searching for God and nothing else. Uh, just we got into this trap of different um, in, uh, uh, that we are looking for something else and this is very uh, illusion you know uh, what uh, George Harrison says when uh, the uh, in his introduction of before um, before Krishna book uh, uh, begins how it starts. So it's ten, ten uh, canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. 90 chapters. And the, here is the introduction, uh, the words from George Harrison. Everybody is searching for Krishna. Some of them don't realize that. But anyway, they are searching for Him. And Krishna is God and source of everything. And the, uh, and the reason of everything that exists uh, existed and will exist. This is just right uh, straight ahead he begins with these words. So everybody is searching for God, but they uh, like uh, chain, uh, replace him for something else. Because uh, so is, uh, is in a constant search for God. Uh, nothing is in... Um, she cannot be interested in anything else. She may be interested in Krishna, uh, his devotee, or maybe devotional service, and nothing else. But as soon as it... Uh, uh, she gets into the world of uh, matter, she, she will have to search for something else because Krishna, uh, she's no longer interested in Krishna. Uh, that's why the soul uh, goes to the uh, material world. And as soon as we, uh, as soon as we can start searching for him, we're going back to Godhead. So uh, welcome, welcome back and uh, keep going back, Anastasia. You are on a very uh, right path. Thank you for this deep realization. Yelena, reading about Dabir Khasi Rupa Goswami, how uh, he and his brother came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's place, uh, what if uh, someone and, uh, uh, is in a big need of his mercy, like uh, the most... The, they, they actually, two brothers, they were in need. And the, this, my, my heart was full of uh, joy that... Um, and I got this realization that we need to ask for the mercy, uh, uh, God's mercy, and pray for, uh, and beg for their liberation. And they were so sincere when they admitted their sins that my truth um, just got into the uh, surface of my mind. 
на возможность получить милость Господа, читание. And by this time, without uh, fault or guilt, but, but with the hope of uh, getting uh, mercy of Lord Chaitanya and uh, um, thanks to uh, addressing to him uh, sincerely. You know, yes, that's right, um, Natalia. We need to use uh, the, um, uh, the experience of other Vaishnavas. When, when you want to get to uh, any goal, or uh, maybe it may be even something intermediate, just take it from the Shastras. Like, like in this case, uh, just take this prayer of Rupa Goswami, but uh, use it even in Bengali, and use it uh, every day in Bengali, read it every day. The essence of it you know already. Now keep reading it. And maybe in some time, some, it may take a week, man, month, it, uh, depending on uh, the, the memory capacity and the uh, piety as well. Uh, so keep repeating it, but at some point you will learn it by heart, this prayer. And this mood of Rupa Goswami will help you to enter this um, mood of um, uh, devotion and there will be some uh, so use the words of great souls yes use it take advantage well, for instance Krishna Misha Prabhu uh, you know I know that he uh, is doing it every day for many years he keeps repeating different mantras he knows them by heart he can repeat them for hours sitting in the same position and repeating it and one of mantras that he is uh, he, he keeps repeating is Rudra Gita or maybe uh, a song chanted by Lord Shiva it he was described in the Srimad Bhagavad on first canto, I think it was 24th chapter, and uh, so uh, Lord Shiva is uh, chanting this prayer to Lord uh, Krishna, and it had been sung by Lord Brahma, and uh, Shiva heard it. And he started repeating it, like uh, coming from himself this time, the same prayer. And he's uh, giving this prayer prachitam. And he's saying, it, in the end, uh, the one who uh, repeats this prayer, he can uh, he can develop love for God and all the um, and everything else. This this is only an example I'm giving. We can we can use uh, other, other pr the prayers of others and uh, say them as saying them. As as ourself, uh, coming from ourself. And actually, doing it this way, Krishna hearing it like from ours, like coming from ours, and it's already be, uh, having all the benedictions from, um, from the person who wrote this poem. So uh, keep repeating it, uh, even if it's just a poem for you. In the beginning. Olga Timil Burlatova now. Last night, when we were reading Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ecstasy of Lord Chaitanya, uh, and, and uh, the, this, the, I had, my heart was squeezed because I was, um, we were reading about the, the suffering of uh, Radharani because she was suffering badly in uh, uh, separation with Krishna. And uh, I, rec I, um, I realized why gopis chastised Krishna. Krishna. And I have had those, those thoughts, why Krishna is so um, unjust, uh, not, not uh, fear, uh, not fair with uh, Radharani, because she's like dead or not alive when he's, um, he's, they are in separation. I cannot put all, all this in words, in, it may seem to be like something uh, not sincere. No, it's not. No, it doesn't look like not sincere, insincere. Uh, if it wasn't sincere that uh, Krishna would never give you this impulse from uh, right from your heart uh, to write it down because there's always a part of sincerity because you've been impressed by uh, by this uh, subject actually this is but how you put it, this into your words this is secondary thing the most important thing is emotion but Krishna actually is um, enjoying this thing when he destabilizes Radharani. Uh, for instance, Srimad Bhagavatam in Tenth Canto. Krishna is doing the same thing with Rukmini, he's like destabilizing her. Yeah. And uh, he's watching her 
and, and then he's saying, "Don't be mad with me. Uh, I did it on purpose. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to see you uh, being uh, destabilized." And he's enjoying it. He's not doing it. Uh, uh, he's enjoying uh, seeing Rukmini this way, and she's also enjoying it because she's in the presence of God. And the one who is in the presence of God cannot cannot suffer for him. The, he's uh, he's enjoying, but the sufferings in this way they bring jo joy and. Uh, like uh, like lovers, he, um, they, when they, they have a quarrel, but they still uh, enjoy this quarrel. And so Krishna doing it on person, sometimes uh, he's living, he's living gopis, and they like uh, feeling this uh, sorrow, but it's but but the meditation in the heart of a gopi is stronger, stronger than just seeing Krishna with the eyes. It also describes when Krishna is coming to um, to Gorukshetra from Dwaraka. So everybody rushed to Krishna. Everyone who knew him, Pandava, other kings, Vasudev, everybody rushed to see him. Nanda, Yashoda, my. Only Gopi stayed, uh, remained uh, still. They, they were watching him from a side, and uh, it was described how straight away um, they, uh, they embraced him in their hearts. Because um, uh, at this situation, that wasn't possible for them. That wasn't uh, was uh, didn't, it wasn't actually moral, though they didn't pay attention to any morality in their relations with Krishna. But this time they didn't rush to uh, to embrace Krishna. But in their heart they felt such a, such a pleasure in their heart, uh, embracing Krishna in their heart. Even standing, uh, they would experience such a happiness. Nobody would experience it, but gopis. Same Krishna is like destabilizing Radharani and she's suffering, but Krishna is saying uh, also that love and separation brings more happiness, more, more joy, uh, more comparing uh, to the situation where they meet. Of course, it's difficult for us to understand, but uh, moreover, be very careful when don't don't have this kind of thought that Krishna is unf um, not uh, unfair. Uh, it may be uh, this way, but it's for Radharani, and it's the fact for those who are very close to Krishna. But we should be very careful with this um, with this level, because we can um, go through this. Uh, through the, this barrier and uh, get to the Sahajiya point. It's like when Prabhu, Prabhupada uh, saying that when people think that it's like uh, being equal to God, well, hey, what's wrong with you? You're not fear, but uh, not unfair. Um, there, you should understand that Krishna is the biggest um, uh, justice in the world. Everything is uh, fair in this world, but uh, the point is how we treat it, how how we um, all these sacred things we um, we will learn later get uh, become patient and uh, all this in, in all these impressions will uh, will get over you and will get to the point Vladimir is writing now. Now, yesterday, last night, I was thinking about Adi Lila, read uh, the day before. I, I was touched by the 8th chapter, uh, 24th verse, where they speak uh, about offenses when you uh, chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. I read it again. I got the commentary of Srila Prabhupada. And now, um, uh, following verses as well, where uh, how we can get rid of all the offenses. I also got this uh, this realization and I had this very bad feeling, impression. Uh, two years ago, uh, when I got joined the Harinama tour, I got the chance to go to Mayapur. And w this is where I got this um, taste, a sweet taste of uh, chanting holy names. Uh, then I lost this taste. When Even if I was in Vrindavan, I, I wouldn't experience this, this taste anymore. Maybe sometimes afterwards, when I uh, when I got to the very good kirtan, lead, uh, lead it by a very e experienced devotee. And only now I'm realizing why, in Mayapur, 
in uh, in the temple there are two rooms first you, you have a panchatattva in the second one radha krishna with gopis and also narisim hadev in the second so first you uh, you offer your obeisances to panchatattva uh, they purify you and uh, then you get the full ecstasy of um, of uh, of worship in Kirtan. So the same uh, for, um, uh, of the, uh, the Kirtan. We first um, worship Sri Chaitanya and then Kirtan, Mahamantra. This is how I realized that I found the, the key for Mahamantra in Krishna. Before, beforehand, I wouldn't notice this information anywhere. Uh, it means that, uh, first of all, I need to take um, uh, refuge uh, repeating Jashi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shadvaita Gadadar Shiva Sadigura Bhaktavan Vrinda. And only then I get the taste of uh, Mahamantra Hare Krishna. I, I really wish to share this key with everybody like me, all the devotees like me. Uh, uh, devotees who only begin their uh, journey of uh, devotional service. All glories to Shri Prabhupada, who, who, he is the only one who is giving us um, how, uh, how we can approach the feet of Radha Krishna. Yes, that's true. Radha Krishna, uh, Hare Krishna is uh, a tremendous power, and but uh, it's also said um, that thousand times uh, this mantra, uh, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, is more powerful, ten times powerful. Uh, and so this, which is why we uh, say this mantra before the first round and after the first round. So each round is followed by it. So first of all, you uh, you worship your Prabhupada. If you don't have your Guru, then, uh, in case you have Guru, you say your uh, Guru Prama, Pram, Pranama Mantra, and then Shia Prabhupada's Pranama, and then Panchatattva. And only then you get to Hare Krishna Mantra. You finish the, your round with uh, the you chant Panchatattva uh, Mantra, then you start the second round and as, as so on and so follows so pancha tantra mantra uh, removes all the offenses that that, that you uh, did during chanting the, the round and it inhalates the offenses as you were right saying when uh, when there's no mercy of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we cannot get the taste for Radha Krishna this is why we repeat this pancha tantra mantra um, the fact you felt it in Mayapur because Mayapur dham is so merciful. It is actually this dham has been made by Shimati Radharani herself. This is her creation, and she's so merciful there because she's not accepting any offenses there. It is it is made for or the most fallen ones. Like, so to say, uh, so, like, so that everybody gets the love folk of God. Uh, and because uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born there, it's like ocean of mercy. Uh, and But in Vrindavan, even if a bad thought or act, uh, you have you receive the reaction straight ahead. And it's very difficult to get the taste there. It's very strict. But though you uh, you have um, the, uh, the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can even have the taste in Vrindavan, because they are not different from each other, Mayapur Dham and Vridavan Dham. And the one who makes difference, um, saying Lord Shiva, um, Lord Shiva will punish with a trident, uh, and he will, um, the person will go to hell. So let's continue. Now, uh, here we are having two sisters writing, Raga Naiki and Ranga Priya. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, thank you for this reading. Uh, except for our obeisances, this is such a powerful uh, chapter, such a nectar. Oh, especially when you find yourself in a hospital, but um, you feel like in the spiritual world. And this is by the mercy of devotees. Thank you. Uh, get well. Recover, please. Uh, so this is the example of devotees staying in uh, in the hosp hospital, and but Krishna is giving them the possibilities. Listen to Shetan Charitamrita. This is how he's taking care of his devotees. 
So please um, uh, get well uh, from your wounds, wounds, and because big, uh, big uh, deeds is are waiting for you. Thank you for realization. Interesting how young Brahmana was offering to Sakshi Gopal rice without looking at him. What do you mean, how is such a... He just cooked and put it for Sakshi Gopal and left. He saw himself in his heart. He, this kind of uh, level of Brahmana... Can you imagine this this level? Uh, because the, uh, the Murti was, was following the Brahmana. So... Uh, so this is why this Brahmana he can offer it in his heart. In, he, he, it wasn't a difficulty for him to uh, to, food, to feed a Sakshi Gopal um, without looking. He can even ask her straight, uh, straightly um, Sakshi Gopal and probably Sakshi Gopal uh, gave him some method. Just cook it for me and I will, I will come and try it. Uh, maybe I'm just speculating, but there's nothing impossible for God. Probably they had some, uh, some kind of conversation conversation and uh, some, uh, some and no, by the no, way i i had the same no, question when i was reading no, no. probably i got the, the uh, your sms from you uh, how how he was he feeding uh, god without looking at him thank you very much why they said shloka of um, every chapter, they, we always praise uh, Lord Chaitanya, uh, Advaita and Nityananda, but not uh, Gadadhar. And also, uh, yes, yes, they do sometimes, but or sometimes it's even Gadadhar and Srivasa, both of them. How do they do? The Gora Bhaktavrinda is for praising them, because uh, those two are devotees of Lord Chaitanya. This is why we, Jai Jai Shri Chaitanya, this, this is the prayer we um, pronounce at the beginning. Shri Chaitanya, Nityananda, Advaita, Chandra Jaya, Gora Bhaktavrinda. This means that all the glory is to the devotees of Lord Gauranga, of Lord Chaitanya. Gadadhara and Shivas, uh, they, go, they get into this category of devotees. Uh, because Lord Chaitanya, Advaita, uh, or, um, Advaita and Nityananda, they are uh, uh, incarnations of Lord Himself. This is why we, pray, uh, we worship them first of all. And then we worship all the devotees, Gadadhar and Shivas. Can you please tell me, Ramananda Rai, he was an official and uh, at the same time Shudra, which means that he was serving the, the state and the, uh, they, were, um, they used to be such honorable people, uh, no matter of their, uh, of their birth state. Yes, this is true. And... Uh, this it, it was already um, Kali Yuga, and it was described that uh, Shudras will um, rule the world. But it's not actually something de degrading, because Shudra ca can be born in the family of Shudra, but if he develops qualities of Brahmana, he, can be, he should be considered uh, as a Brahmana, because we are defined by the qualities, by, by the birth. Not by, the, not by the birth, but the qualities of Ramana Daraya. He was actually the governor. He was a, he, be, he became a kshatriya. He developed qualities of kshatriya. Same said uh, Jesus when when they, he was told uh, about years in India that he spent. They said, actually, you're a shudra. You you was born in a family of carpenter. Why are you preaching here? You should go back uh, over there uh, and join your shudras to preach. And this uh, well-known phrase, because uh, it's, uh, you shouldn't uh, define a personality not by the birth, but by the qualities. But anyway, I will go there, because uh, what you're telling me, it's probably God saying, saying to me to follow the, those, uh, those places, that, that, that area where he will preach. He's going, so he's going back there and he's preach, and he will preach. And also Ramananda Rai, he is a very close, intimate uh, follower of uh, Krishna and Radharani. Very intimate, because he is one of eight copies. 
which is why this kind of personality are born in this kind of places where they can enjoy themselves completely. They shouldn't suffer. They are enjoying. So it's like uh, demons uh, were, were born, like Hiranya Kashipu, Hiranyaksha, Ravana, Kumbhakarna, and Shushupal Dandavakra. And uh, later on, Jagai Madhai, the same true personality, Jai Vijay from the spiritual world. But just notice, in all the incarnations, during all their lives, they were enjoying, they, they wouldn't suffer. Never they would suffer. Because a devotee shouldn't, uh, cannot suffer in this world. And, uh, even becoming a devotee or a demon, devotee uh, uh, keeps enjoying. Same for Jagai Madhai, they, there was no uh, uh, sin that they wouldn't commit. They, there was just uh, big rascals they were. And, but they, weren't, they wouldn't suffer. And then he, they, after meeting Lord Chaitanya Nityananda, they would become uh, devotees. Same for Ramananda Rai. He, he was an official and uh, he was enjoying. He was a governor. And then he will meet uh, Lord Chaitanya that we will read about. Adilila 406, Adilila, for, uh, chapter 4, uh, verse uh, 106. The heart of Lord Chaitanya is an incarnation of emotions of Sri Radhika, Radharani. The, the feelings uh, of joy and uh, uh, sorrow uh, always exchange each other. When, uh, tell me, please, uh, when the, in the feelings of Radha, the feeling of sor uh, sorrow appears. So, yes, the sorrow of this actual uh, separation, this separation uh, uh, gives this sorrow. When you cannot see your beloved, you, you experience this sorrow. Especially the emotions of Radharani, when we uh, a little bit... Uh, Deep in the in the past, ten thousand years ago, uh, those so those emotions of Radharani they uh, were uh, continuously in this state of uh, love and separation, because she was cursed by, by her brother Shridam that she would spend one hundred years in separation with Krishna. Can you imagine it? So uh, this is why she remains in this state, and Lord Chaitanya uh, was in the same uh, state. It's this mood, we cannot find this. Uh, 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 we can see, uh, we cannot find the place where, where Lord Chaitanya uh, being uh, filled in this mood would be happy. Because um, actually, this uh, kind of sorrow brings a, a stronger feeling of happiness. So they were separated for 100 years when Krishna left. When he left Vrindavan, uh, he went to Mathura and then. Uh, Starting from this point, uh, they, they will count 100 years of separation. So yes, this kind of mood uh, was uh, particular to Radharani. When you cannot see uh, your object of love, you would uh, experience the same uh, thing. But when you know this uh, object is in your heart, you will uh, mix all these feelings with, of joy and, uh, and sorrow. This is actually the very taste of Bhakti Rasa the uh, uh, mood of love and separation. Can you explain, please? Can you help me, please? It's been a long time I'm in this movement, but I cannot see why I cannot, uh, why I should accept my spiritual master. I don't, uh, I feel apathy and uh, I feel no desire to practice. Uh, so let's see clearly it. So, first question, I don't understand why I should accept my spiritual master. Second, I can I feel this ap uh, apathy and uh, lack of desire of practice. It's you not the only one, there are quite, uh, quite a few uh, devotees, people who find themselves the same situation. And the reason is, uh, maybe in your previous life you refused your guru, and this, uh, this life you keep, uh, you, you maintain it like cursed. Some, it, it may happen uh, we, we can refuse uh, a guru or maybe do some offense towards him. 
and uh, he may be deprived of, uh, of a special life for 10,000 lives, even uh, lose this chance of a human body. Yes, uh, you, you probably may spend many lives as a human, but you, you will, won't meet him. And it's said that even if you meet your uh, meet spiritual master and you don't accept him, you will spend 10,000 lives without him. You will be deprived from him. This is why it is important the meeting of a guru. And also I heard that if uh, the person uh, accepted and found uh, the spiritual ma master, accepted him and then refused, not the simple offense, uh, so it's, I'm rejecting him. Uh, you never know what happens. And uh, so this kind of person will spend 10, 000, 10 million lives. So he will spend uh, being deprived from um, from God. He will forget about God. Or he may think that he, uh, he may think himself as a guru. So this is why it's very difficult to, uh, to accept a guru. I found those kind of uh, devotees who would open their hearts. They did would see um, astrologers or something like that uh, and they found out that it's been um, they had this kind of uh, a, a situation with the guru in previous lives and this uh, it becomes very difficult to accept it in this life so you will uh, this mood will actually uh, be will be reason for your apathy these qualities this lack of desire of devotional service will um, will be like a curse for you because some people say why should I accept guru I should uh, I shouldn't give my karma because he's uh, he's already in a difficult situation no Shatra Sastas are saying you should find a guru no matter what uh, happens, no matter it takes this life, uh, the purpose of this life is to find Guru accepted. If a person spent a life without finding a Guru accepting him, this life has, uh, is useless. But anyway, you keep practicing, which means that Shiksha Guru is Prabhupada for you. Uh, and he's saving from you, and now he's like taking um, a role as a guru for you. So uh, please uh, do your best to, to, to choose a guru. You may think that you are not worth it, but uh, who's worth it? We cannot find anyone who would say he's worth. Uh, everything happens to the mercy uh, by the mercy of Shah Prabhupada, Lord Chaitanya, that we can uh, get in contact of this um, spiritual. Pr practice and find a guru and then listen to him um, practice and uh, follow his uh, footsteps why should I accept uh, a spiritual master because we are asleep this is one of the uh, one of the important understandings that we should uh, that push it, that pushes us to find a guru because we are asleep souls asleep because it may seem that we are alive and something is going on we are progressing but the, but the, as long as we we haven't met our spiritual master this life will remain a dream you know it's like a, a, sometimes in a dream we realize that we are, uh, we are sleeping uh, okay it's a dream but what what we uh, can we do in this sleep nothing it's like I'm being enchained by this sleep so it's a sleep and then what this can be lost. This dream can be lost, and uh, we have no way, uh, have no idea if it's a dream or life. Same happens with the people who uh, practices the spiritual life, and uh, he is full of faith, and uh, etc. And you can say this uh, soul is not asleep, but he's not awake neither, which means that he's not really active. If you if you want to compare, sometimes I compare. Uh, it's like um, you still in your bed, you awake with your eyes closed. It's difficult to awake or nothing to do and not to sleep neither. So I already realized what's going on around me and uh, ten, it's 10th of May. So I'm awake, I realize, but I keep my eyes closed anyway. I belong, uh, I'm a man of this age and belong to this movement. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in my bed. From, so, uh, from one hand, I'm not asleep. From other hand, I'm not asleep. 
I'm not awake neither. It's the same, uh, same uh, condition when we practice, but we don't have any uh, spiritual master, because a uh, spiritual master opens our heart with the torch of light of knowledge, and, the, and Krishna will fulfill um, uh, fulfills his heart to uh, show give us the knowledge from the heart and also he will uh, get he will get us from the bed because he will engage us uh, guru will engage you in the spirit in the devotional service and so this activity at this very moment we're awaking we're uh, waking up we try to open eyes a little by little and we start seeing this spiritual reality with the eyes of knowledge not with the third eye or something else but the eyes of knowledge because uh, it, with this very torture of light of knowledge uh, uh, what he does the guru which means he's giving out the sight um, the eyesight from the uh, agyana means uh, lack of knowledge and guru is given this knowledge and afterwards, Lord uh, Guru is uh, watching us. So if we are sincere and uh, doing our best as uh, uh, disciples, then he engages us in, uh, in a pure devotional service, uh, service and he uh, shows us Krishna. And this is uh, at this point our real life, be life begins. So thank you very much for this question, because for many people it can be a um, very important aspect of, uh, in their spiritual life and especially in relationship with the spiritual master and we all wish you success and find your spiritual master quickly and you will, would uh, become a great um, disciple of his and uh, don't leave this idea for other lives because um, uh, alone we would we would never uh, get to the point to the goal um, without spiritual master we already tried for many many lives Помогите, пожалуйста, понять, как Господь Читания страдает от разлуки, ходит в синяках. Please, can you help me realize how Lord Chaitanya is suffering from uh, separation? He uh, walks with the bruises, uh, crying, and uh, it is said that he is uh, being in a bliss uh, uh, through this uh, love and separation. How can uh, this uh, be uh, mixed? Uh, love and suffering. This is actually the state of a trance. When you no longer identify yourself with this body, you realize that you are not this body. And uh, suffering is uh, because of the fact because you can uh, not fully express uh, your uh, feelings, spiritual feelings. Because this uh, body prevents you from that. But uh, when your uh, consciousness goes through the, uh, to the, to the uh, spiritual platform, you would no longer feel uh, any bruises or scratches. It's like injection uh, when you do the operation. Um, anesthesia, yes. You can, uh, you, you won't, you won't feel any pain when you get the injection. So the same in this case. Uh, externally, the body suffers, but inside, uh, the the soul is not suffering. But uh, sufferings uh, they uh, appear when you realize that you cannot leave this body uh, before time comes. But you would would love so much, would like so much to leave this uh, material consciousness, and the this effect may may give you suffering so uh, you you already realize you're um, you're an uh, inhabitant of spiritual world you have friends over there you have uh, service there this is uh, the, where your um, natural state you you put all the efforts to go there but this body not letting you because uh, the, because of your karma you need to stay here longer and this brings you sufferings also, this can be compared, it's like everybody knows uh, this experience. When you sleep, when you are asleep and you try to run away from somebody, and you are so eager to run fast, and but something is um, is not letting you give this uh, to get this the, the speed. You would love would like to to go quickly, but you cannot. So same um, same you will feel when you go to this spiritual level. 
you feel like you're ready to go there. You know that Krishna is your beloved. He he's your Lord. You know you know that uh, serving Him is the biggest uh, bliss and biggest happiness that you can experience. Because love uh, soul is so happy when she's uh, realizing her her natural needs, her nature. And when you cannot fulfill all these uh, things, and the body can bring you suffer, uh, sufferings. So, so this is what we need to face, uh, this, uh, these feelings. And also, we, uh, they say that we, uh, we should uh, dis uh, stop this uh, body, uh, bodily identification, because when the time comes to leave this body and you're not uh, finished with the attachments, all the sufferings will will be uh, so strong, because uh, all the sufferings, uh, sufferings that you know in this life, it will be nothing compared uh, when you get the separation with your attachments, with the house, family, relatives, your position, um, nationality, or anything else, religion. Everything that uh, connected to this body, and uh, when it's not, uh, when we are not being, uh, when we are still attached to it, it will bring such a great suffering, tremendous suffering. This is uh, this is a point. This is a problem. It's like when you are sitting in a car, in a passenger place. And uh, suddenly somebody uh, scratches your car or breaks the car. And you're thinking, oh, 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 oh my God, what's going on? It's a, a car accident. What shall I do? Oh, oh, what's going on, driver? And, but for you, it's not even a suffering. But in case of a driver, the pro proprietor, and something happens like that, you would be so shocked only because of a small scratch or a hit. Because you spend so much time to, to uh, earn the money, and now you cover this car with your consciousness, because it's like you feel like uh, you're embracing it so hardly, because it, you feel like it's you, this is your continuation. I had this this uh, situation in my life. I was uh, going out of the car, and there was such a uh, tremendous wind. And everybody knows that uh, when you should hold on the um, the door of the car, and uh, because the wind can uh, can push the door. So I was holding the the uh, the door, but the wind wood was so powerful, and I, uh, it just scratched the car that was standing next to ours. And it was a touch a little bit. It was teeny tiny scratch scratch on on the other car. Just just the trace of the of this of the contact. The, nothing happened actually. So um, I felt I had a bad feeling because oh, I probably I, I bothered somebody with that. So the driver and his wife they were inside of the car, and they got out of the car. Was like was he was looking at this tiny scratch. So, And this man, first he said, he was like, hey, what's wrong with you? You should be careful, you should watch yourself. I was saying that, I'm sorry, you see this very strong wind, I, I, didn't, I didn't do this on purpose. Let's see together what, what happened, probably I can uh, give you some money for the reparation. Don't worry, don't be that worry. What do you mean, don't worry, this is my car? I spent so, so much time to buy it, and and wife, she would join us late, and not even looking at the scratch, she would start uh, saying, all, uh, name, uh, saying all the names that would be such a bad offenses, I, I, and the, his husband, he would, um, he would be impressed by the energy of his wife, and they would spend like five or ten minutes um, off offensing me with the with the very bad names and uh, I was standing and realizing such a huge uh, um, attachment with uh, such an uh, insignificant scratch would uh, disbalance people so this is this um, here is the um, nature of material world so this is what we we should uh, develop this vairagya um, knowledge and vairagya this is our uh, uh, basis of our philosophy uh, 
this, that we um, uh, detach ourselves from the body through through the help of the knowledge, uh, no matter if we have um, family, people, or uh, no matter where we're going uh, to find ourselves, we should be um, detached because uh, this will bring us so much uh, sufferings. This is how a false ego acts that uh, when we say I am this body. Так, у нас осталось пять минут этой встречи. So we have five minutes left. Здесь два вопроса, ну давайте попробуем this meeting. быстренько пробежаться по ним. We have two questions. Let's try to answer them quickly. Ekaterina is writing, why during Japa, in front of my eyes, I have these very bright uh, images, different situations of my uh, death. Sometimes I'm falling from a balcony, sometimes in water, or fire, uh, cold, um, etc. But and at the same time, my mind uh, starts calculating uh, all the um, all the actions and the um, and the uh, results of it. How uh, I should act myself in, in this situation um, to get a less um, injuries possible. It makes me uh, um, laugh as well. But uh, that would be funny. But uh, that it's quite uh, wouldn't if it wouldn't be that scary. Well, you should uh, listen carefully to the. Uh, uh, to the uh, holy name. Probably it's not the, um, the your very future. It's just the speculations of mind. You probably uh, you you saw it in a movie or maybe in previous life. But the, your goal is stop thinking of, about it because it's already an offense of the holy name when we think about something else. Because this um, this this is a very root of all the ten offenses that we should avoid. Not avoid, but uh, avoid thoroughly. And, but the root of all the offenses is the uh, inattentive uh, chanting of the holy name. So when you think about all these things, you uh, bring all. The, you get the offense. Uh, so how can you fight with this? Try to listen carefully. The mind is uh, running away, but you bring it back. He's going uh, away. No, you. You come back here and you listen. Try to, uh, to don't analyze and don't deep, deepen into those things, and speculations. I mean, this is uh, this is what means a spiritual practice: listening carefully, listening carefully what you are saying. This is the way um, you will uh, save yourself. All other methods uh, don't work. Nothing will help you. Harinam, 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 Eva Kevalam. So uh, the holy name of Lord Hari, only this name, holy name, will save us from this uh, madness of this world. The only thing, the unique thing, nothing else will work. So in other words, no matter what problem you have, please uh, make... Uh, Trust holy name because anything else not effective in this uh, age. What you should do is uh, repeat the holy name carefully. And, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what shall I do in this situation? Repeat um, attentively holy name and uh, so on and so forth. Don't reduce the importance of holy name. Uh, and uh, Krishna will help you. And the last one, Galina is writing. What if in my dream I was I saw uh, Krishna Radharani coming to see me? Uh, is this um, uh, some mind speculation? Don't think the speculation of mind could be something bad. The, your mind is a, uh, is a mode, um, functional mode that helps us to uh, to get oriented in this world, take decisions and uh, etc. So, but when you get impressed uh, strongly, uh, they come uh, in your mind, maybe Radha and Krishna, but uh, this is very Radha and Krishna. They, they came in, uh, they, came, they are coming in you, this in your mind. Uh, but don't share this experience with uh, many people because uh, they will say, but because of they, they, may, they might say that these are speculations. I don't want to say the same, but anyway, um, 
When you get these kind of dreams, you should think that it's Radha Krishna, but not Radha Krishna themselves neither. Because when they come for real, you will die. It's not like you will lose your consciousness uh, of, uh, when you're overwhelmed of, the, of these emotions. Like, uh, like Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya, he was losing his consciousness. Uh, but when you you will you will see Radha and Krishna even the um, the shade of them you will die trust me you will die because of happiness for real when you see them for real so they they never come to see us because we we cannot bear this um, purity and love so they uh, they come in our mind it comes in our mind but probably it was paramatma super soul would um, would, would can do this this kind of trick uh, when you see radha krishna but it's not radha krishna uh, for real this uh, Paramatma uh, organizes in your heart. So uh, this is Krishna and not Krishna himself neither. At the same time, simultaneously Krishna and not Krishna. Achintya Veda Veda Tattva. Achintya means unconceivable. How can this be possible? But uh, this is how it is. <laughs> so this is very good thing that you have in such a dreams, uh, inspiring dreams. But be careful, please. So thank you very much to everybody for this meeting. I'm so sorry if I, uh, if somehow I offended uh, in a in a way. I really didn't want uh, that. I really wish to everybody success in your spiritual life. And also you should know there will be obstacles. Always will be obstacles in your spiritual path. Don't be uh, upset. Don't do any offenses to anyone. Uh, clear up things and uh, if you clear up you will get the um, uh, don't deepen into those uh, offenses or anything because that will be a tamaguna so have a good very good day and uh, uh, I will see you very soon